welcome back to LSJ TV. Now, as you guys can see from the title, I'm throwing it back today wearing the OG Rob Lipstick top, the OG Gymshark joggers, and my old red shoes as well. Alongside that, we are throwing it back to my old chest and triceps routine. Did a, did a walkthrough of it, it's one of my first ever videos, and it was crap. So I thought I'd just do another one, and we are fully throwing it back with the old outfit and the old routine. So, with that said, let's go back in time as I've actually just finished the workout. Let's throw it back even further and kick off today's video. Now, I'm sure a few of you are probably thinking, Liam, chill the out with the home gym videos but the reality is I'm not going to be here for too long I'm going back to uni actually by the time you guys see the next video I will be back at uni so this walkthrough will be the last home gym video except for the next one which is going to be the home gym tour so stay tuned for that I'm milking the home gym while I can because I can't do it all the time What music do you guys listen to in the gym? I was just thinking, I'm training with Charlotte right now, and so I listen to different music to what I would when I train with Cam the Cameraman, which I listen to different music to than when I would train. Actually, Cam the Cameraman, I kind of listen to the same thing with my dad as Cam the Cameraman, but as long as I'm listening to something that's gonna put me in a good mood, some people need like proper banging heavy metal stuff, like some people like, you know, stuff like this. Just this, this is just stuff that's in the charts. But what kind of music do you guys listen to? Do you need it for motivation? Can you train without music? Like, let me know in the comments. Right. Guys, I've got a little bit of a dilemma. I've had this once or twice before on the channel. Um, I've got a dilemma with my bench. As you guys just saw, I got seven and then I got six. I just can't seem to get eight reps on 85. I just can't. I don't know what it is or why or what the reason is, but I just, I just, I just don't seem to be able to do it. I think I've done it once or twice. And then I had that rest and then I was ill and then, you know, no excuses, but I just, I just can't seem to do it. But, as you guys saw one or two videos ago, I got five reps on 90. 90 kilos, and then I got my 100 kg bench press, one rep max as well. Do I just push past 85 and go to 87.5 and sacrifice one or two reps until that goes up? Or do I just stick with it until I can get three solid sets of eight? Because that's what I normally do, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Guys, I spent a couple of minutes telling myself over and over and over in my head, eight reps, eight reps, eight reps. I tell you what, the power of mental strength is actually ridiculous. In the gym, I tell you, I've never, go, I've never told you guys about this one time at college. I had to do pull-ups. We were doing like a pull-up kind of contest thing. Like, and I. At the time, I didn't really, I didn't really lift. I, I wasn't what well, I didn't. I didn't lift, but everybody else did. You know, I was surrounded by bodybuilders, powerlifters, and some of them might even be watching this video. Hello, if you are, you probably know what we're talking about. Um, when we did the pull-up challenge, and all of these guys were getting like 20 pull-ups, like 25. And it's like, oh, you know, that was all right actually. And I was just there, like, <laughs> I told myself over and over and over again. I was like, right, you've got to get 15 pull-ups. You've just got to. You've not, I, I was aiming for 20, but I said I've got to get 15. And I told myself over and over and over again, and I just jumped in and did it, and I got 17. Bearing in mind now, I train, and I can barely do 10. Power of mental strength is very, very strong. Not used to chest, 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 chest. 
following the old routine, throwing it back. Oh my god. <laughs> Pump feels good though, feels good. Throwing it back. Rob lifts it. Give me strength. Mm. This top does not fit me anymore. I'm uh, no longer a small. Most of my clothes are at uni, to be honest. The real reason. The real reason behind this whole video is that most of my clean clothes are at uni. I'm at home. So, uh, here we are. Mid-session, getting replies from clients. If you guys did not already know, I am now doing online coaching. We've got a few people on board now, so it's good. The family is growing. <laughs> Pink finally coming on, at least a little bit. About four months walking now. We're going all right. It makes me wish that every single gym had one of these. Cam the cameraman, this is his favorite piece of equipment. This one handle here. I don't know what it is. Something about I think it's I think it's the fact that you can spin around and everything like that. And then you've got the freedom of the machine where you can go left and right, but then it kind of moves with your wrist like this. So normally if I had a fixed bar, like when I'm doing my barbell curls or something like that, it it hurts a little bit, like I said, with my wrist. You guys are gonna think I'm a right pussy, but I mean to be honest, everyone has everyone has little niggles and at the minute that's that's mine. But this kind of eliminates it because as I'm coming back. It's not my wrists taking the strain because they can just turn like this. See? It makes a massive difference. Boom. Boom. Right guys, that is going to conclude today's video. Conclude today's throwback workout. Throwback everything. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have too. If you have, let me know by leaving a like, comment. And, sus this is hard. and subscribe if you are new to the channel. The next video you see will be the home gym tour for 2018 with the new additions that you've seen in the, trans in the transformation video a couple weeks back. And then there will be Amsterdam content. I'm not sure how many videos are going to be, probably just one, kind of like a highlights kind of thing. But look forward to that next week. Next, yeah, or the week after. One, one way or another. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me, LSJ underscore fitness. The link will be in the description box. Do that and then you will be able to... I can't concentrate on this shit. I don't want to go to school. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm just there wanting. <laughs> anyway, um, right, so if you guys are following, aren't following me on Instagram, <laughs> perspiration ting. Links effect. Right, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, then that will let you, I will let you know on Instagram before it comes out how many videos there are going to be. All of the Amsterdam stuff will be live on Instagram as well. So if you want, then subscribe. If you haven't, like for the, the comment, blah, 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 all that YouTuber stuff. Anyway, right, I'm gonna round it off because my dinner's ready. I'll catch you guys next time. No regrets. I'll see you in the next video.